Hey guys, it's Drek, and I want to show you guys some finished commissions that I've been working on. We'll start with this. This is a blue and white deploy. Now before I get into this, there is no ultimate deploy mod tutorial coming out because frankly, it was a huge pain to put this together and paint it and do everything. It still deploys or tries to, but the paint kind of sticks and I greased the parts and it still sticks. But this deploy works very well. The magwell is the same as it was before. a very nice deploy. It shoots much farther than other deploys and it looks good too with this paint job. But while I'm on this topic, I didn't make a mod guide because it was a huge pain. The deploy is a very strange blaster in that it's about the same price as a recon, as an alpha trooper, and yet it's worse than both of those blasters. If you want something small that gets compact like a deploy does, buy a recon. It gets much smaller and better ranges. If you want something with pump action, buy an alpha trooper. It has slam fire too. Like, there are much better blasters than the deploy for the price you pay. I would never recommend buying a deploy for anything. It's got an integrated light, sure, but the recon comes with a light, and neither one of them are very good lights anyway. You're much better off making a tactical light, like I did in a video a while back. I'm sure you can find it if you search for my tactical light video. But the deploy is awful. I won't be making any more of these for commissions. I won't be making any more paint jobs for these. I won't make one for myself. I really did not enjoy this project. That said, it's complete, so it's off my plate, and I can focus on cooler projects that I have far more personal interest in. Which leads me to my next set of commissions. I have outfitted an HVZ -er called Spooky Lucas with a great loaded out. This is the barricade I made for him. It takes a 9 volt now. If I remove this battery door, I can show you that while I don't have a 9 volt, 9 volt on me to fire it, I've shaved down the jam door and I've wired in a very nice 9 volt connector. So all you have to do is throw a 9 volt in this compartment and lock it down and it'll be ready to go. As you can see, let me screw this down real quick. The locks have all been removed, including all of the ones in the jam door, both electronic and physical. It'll fire both ways. The only problem is I can't demo it without a 9 volt. That's not a big deal. It's easy to pick up a 9 volt. The other thing that I've done is I have copied my Vuku commission in that this is a fully decked out stampede. Now before I fire it, I want to show that what makes my stampede commissions really, really special is the way that I do the batteries. I use the original battery tray and I go out and I buy these very expensive industrial batteries. Now this one's even tougher than the one I did with the Vuku. While it is still a 12 volt custom circuit, it's almost too large. I had to take out the entire bottom compartment. But it is a huge battery with, and let me read this real quick, it has 1.3 milliamp hours, which is just a ridiculous amount of power. This will run all day. Like if you take this to a laser tag war, you're not going to run out of battery. This is a quick connect for the charger, and this is the kind of charger that I use. It's a worker standard 12 volt charger, and it seems like every time I do one of these stampede commissions, I end up giving away my personal charger for these batteries, and I do that because it's more of a pain for other people to go out and try and figure out the charger for these custom batteries than it is for me to just go out and replace mine. So I kind of do that as my gift to the commissioner, especially since it's an expensive piece and it's hard to find the exact right one. Now that I've talked about what makes this Stampede special, obviously I've done a spring edition and some other things. Again, it's very much like the Vuku that I made a while back. I'm going to slide this back in, lock it down, and I will fire this for you. I have an 18-round clip here that I'm going to just mow through because the rate of fire and the ranges have both been increased substantially on my stampedes. We have the clip again. I remove these locks so you can fire with the jam door open. I'll fire a few times. And you can see just how fast that's moving. It's got a ton of potential. It's just a very nice blaster. Looks like I have two darts left plus this one, so I'll fire those.
just an excellent blaster. The other thing that I did is I included a gift with this one because it took me a little longer than I expected and I originally wanted to paint the barricade but I didn't have time to paint the barricade because painting barricades is tricky. So I made a black and silver sharp shot. It's entirely custom. I've signed it on the bottom for Spooky Lucas. And it'll also complement the HBZ arsenal well in case you can't find any batteries. This one's entirely spring powered. It gets incredible ranges for what it is. It's a sharp shot. It performs very nicely. It's got a perfect seal. My detailing was done in silver. The black is done in flat black. And then I came in the handle and did that with my silver enamel as well. Really pleased with how this blaster turned out. Drew a, I don't even know what to call that, on the front because I was bored while it was drying. But I'm pleased with this. I'm pleased with the stampede. And I'm pleased with the barricade. All of those will be going out very shortly. I also want to issue an apology to the person that I made a Super Fang for because while we were negotiating, I told him that I'd give him 40 Steffens and a few Mega Darts, and I forgot that, but now I'm correcting it, and I've made more Steffens. I think there's a little more than 40 now because I'm sorry that I forgot about the Steffens in that order. It's hard for me to keep track of everything, and I'm shipping out those as well as your Mega Darts to make up for that mistake and those should be arriving shortly. Now the only things I have to work on are a few personal projects, some of my charity work that I like to do in October. I'll be working on my crossbow very soon, and I have a commission called the Shadow Spectre that you should be looking out for. It's taking a little while because there are some custom pieces I have to machine, but it should turn out very nice. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Should be some updates soon. I have a few more vintage blasters to review.